Tamika Light. I'm from Michigan and I am a content creator slash brothel working girl. This is my like little travel bag so I like to bring it everywhere with me when I like go to shoots um, or if like I have like a quick uh, party like at the ranch I'll take this and fill it with all my goodies. So I actually have some outfits here. So this is a cute like little onesie. I think this is really sexy on me. <laughs> Um, and then we have a bathing suit. You know, can't travel anywhere without it if you want to get wet and saucy. Um, and then I have a brand new dress that I haven't tried on yet. And this is just adorable. <laughs> Um, and then we also have some stockings, you know, just in case anything pops up if you, you know, want to get a little innocent. Um, my makeup bag, you know, you can't go anywhere without makeup, you know, beauty calls. <laughs> um, and then I have a rain light. Um, this is for like my personal use, like um, if I go somewhere and they don't have like anything or if I want something on my phone instead to record, then I can have it just on hand. <laughs> I also have a <laughs> balloon uh, blow machine. Uh, this is <laughs> for my fetish people. Um, if they like to do balloon videos or anything like that, I always have it on hand just in case. Some heels here. They're a little scrunch from the outfits and stuff. We got some more heels. I don't bring a lot of heels with me though because sometimes they can take up too much space so I just try to bring with what would match during that time um, and then we have some fun gadgets so we have this little fun toy we have a little vlogger here you know I like to get a little saucy sometimes <laughs> this is actually one of my favorites so this connects your ankles to your wrists so just put that together and like it puts yourself in a really good position. <laughs> this little paddle here, I said bitch. <laughs> and then this thing, like I said, I like to get freaky sometimes. So this I really like when I want a little bit of pain. Uh, you know, it helps you feel a little bit more sometimes, so that's really nice. And we also have a ball gag. I always have to be cute with my stuff, you know, so I got the little heart. <laughs> Gotta love what you do. And then I have a box of condoms uh, anywhere I go, because you never know and you always want to be safe. That's my number one main thing, is you always have to be safe. And then I have some toys here with me. So, uh, I like this one. So, I actually really like glass toys because you can do temperature play with it. So if you want it cold, hot, um, you can do whatever you want. And I don't know, it just it feels a little different to me than a regular toy. Um, but the story behind this one, um, I actually watched a porno that had this exact toy in the porno. And when I saw it, I was like, I just need to grab it. I was like, this is so sexy. Uh, so it has like uh, ridges here and it has the little heart. I don't know if you guys ever seen the porno, but it's so fucking hot. <laughs> um, then we have another glass toy.
this one is my favorite. Um, so I guess I have the two favorites. Anything glass will be my favorite. Um, but this one uh, can make me squirt anytime. Um, it has the little G spot here, so it'll hit it every single time. So I really enjoy it and I love it. Um, it'll make me squirt without even knowing that I will. So this one's actually a vibrator. Um, you know, I can't say I have used this one much though. Um, but I definitely take it with me just because I would like to try some new ones. I always like to try to switch up some toys sometimes so that I can get a feel for each one. I have a room full of toys, like shelf, shelves and everything. I'm a little freak. And then our two last toys. This one's a jelly type dildo and it's a vibrator as well so it will feel really nice and it's just a, it's a different feel and then we have this one which is also a vibrator and it's in the shape of a dick so you can feel and it has like little veins so you get to feel everything um, oh and you can't forget your cuffs <laughs> I have two pairs if you want to get a little bit more frisky or if you want a little bit gentle so and that's it except for like the alcohol in my bag <laughs> how important is it to have a, a bag for a, for a sex worker um it is very important because no matter who you're shooting with you don't know what you're going to be doing so you always want to have a couple of outfits a couple of items um, just in case something doesn't go the right way especially if they don't have something at their place either um, you need to have stuff to keep something going because let's say um, I were to go to someone's place and we were just supposed to be doing a shoot maybe they just can't get hard or something happens you know, I have these toys here with me, so... So how important is it for a sex worker to have a bag? Uh, to have a, a bag like yourself? Um, it's always important to have something uh, with you because you never know who you're going to be shooting with. So, let's say you're going to a person's house and something happens. Um, maybe they just can't get hard. They're maybe going through a tough time, but you guys are already playing something out. Um, that's why I always have toys with me is because then you can always try to make scenes work. You also never know who you're going to possibly be shooting with. Sometimes people bring less of items like clothes and stuff. So you always want to have an abundance of clothes just in case so that you can make things work. So I always try to bring a different color, different pair of different items just in case because someone might have an idea in mind that you didn't think so because I made that <laughs> wrong decision my first time I didn't bring anything and luckily the other girl was more prepared than I was and done it more so what's the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to you on set <laughs> so the most embarrassing thing that I can think of right now that's ever happened to me on set is I didn't know if I had a pee or if I had a squirt so I stopped the whole shoot. <laughs> Just I was like, wait, wait, wait. Let me let me go pee real quick. Because I was like, I don't know if it's a pee or a squirt. So let me do that before, you know, like I accidentally pee on you. <laughs> so I think that's my most embarrassing part that I've had in the industry so far. <laughs>